Uh, what about a guard, dude? Talk to me there. So if uh, there's no LeBron, Russell Westbrook is 10,200, which is kind of just a crazy, I mean, that's the highest price tag on the Lakers and he is not the Lakers best player. I guess he could be from a fantasy perspective, but I think LeBron has really just been taking over in recent games. And it just, to me, it seems unlikely that LeBron's gonna go tonight. So you take him off the court and then Westbrook looks really, really appealing. Um, I'll give one other answer though, just in case, because we don't know this stuff. Like I'm kind of just guessing here, yeah. but I think Shea Gilgis Alexander is going to get a lot of attention in the 8K range just because he's done well against the Lakers. The Lakers defense has not been very good. And I think that's just like a little bit too low of a price for him in general. Um, so I'm going to go with a pivot to the Sun Celtics game and take Chris Paul, who I think will be a lot less popular. Um, Devin Booker is still out and Paul hasn't had a huge game yet in Booker's absence. The Suns have also had a couple tough matchups. They were playing the Spurs who are not like crazy up-tempo team, decent defensively. They played the Warriors a couple times before that. Um, and the Celtics aren't the greatest matchup either. I just think that Paul kind of goes overlooked because it's like, oh, he's up to 8,300 now. That's a little more than Chris Paul usually costs. I just don't think people are going to gravitate there too much. So I'll go with Westbrook if there's no LeBron, but if I have to pick somewhere else because the Lakers decide not to rest anybody, I think Chris Paul is the best choice.